I'm here in Portugal in the Douro Valley with one of the best producers of table wine. Also makes excellent ports. It's a historical place called Val do Miao. I'm with Francisco Alazabal, the owner and winemaker. Uh, the wines are beautiful, particularly the table wines. And, and your grandfather made an amazing wine called Barca Velha here. So tell me a little bit, what's your views about table wines now? Because there's some debates on the styles, how they should be, yeah. the grape types. What, what's your view on the whole thing after making wines for quite a while? Uh, I, I think you, 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 you saw it. It's different views, you know, different approach to the Douro. Lots of, lots of them. Some people use the old, old vineyards with mixed grape varieties to make uh, table wines. Here at Valmia, we have everything block planted. My father, in the late 60s, he thought it was quite interesting to have all the grape varieties separately. So here, for me, it's very interesting as a winemaker because I can, you know, you know, I can make 15 different wines from, if you combine this with three different soils that we have here, we have schist, granite, and alluvial soils like lots of pebbles. So we have a mix of things here at Vamiao. So our approach definitely is different from the others because the characteristics of the place is different. Uh, and also you're northern in the um, Douro Superior, so slightly cooler than say down in, in uh, uh, Basho, Corgo or... It depends, you know, there's some, some people, normally here in the Douro Superior it's warmer. Oh, okay. But you know, Douro Superior, it's, we cannot generalize because uh, here it's cooler in, in, in the winter warmer in the summer, but Douro Superior is a very wide area, it's bigger than the others too. So Douro Superior, you have vineyards planted just at the river level, river level but we have also <coughs> vineyards planted at 600, 700 meters altitude, so it changed dramat dramatically the Douro, it's, you cannot have a rule, you know, it's quite different. Even here in our vineyards, uh, we love Torrigan Nacional, my, grandfather, my father planted Torrigan Nacional in the it was one of the first planting block planted, um, and even Turing National in our property changed completely. If you plant north with north exposition, south or uh, it's quite different. But also traditionally, I remember your grandfather told me years ago, 20, 30 years ago, yeah. he was picking grapes from much higher areas and then blending them with grapes from here, which gave his wines a beautiful balance, slightly lower alcohols. Yes, my f grandfather did that. He wanted to manage to, to, to the end of fermentation. And also because mostly he had the, the, the two grape varieties, Tinta Amarela and Tinta Horish. Of course others, because we're old vineyards, but I saw the, the, the records, our records, and it's, it was, we have a lot of Tinta Amarela and Tinta Horish. Tinta Horish, low acid, Tinta Amarela, sometimes quite high alcohol, so oh, okay, he, 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 he needs he need some to balance. Nowadays we have much more Toriga Nacional, which the, it's the grape right with more acidity in Adoro, and Toriga Franca also with very nice acidity, so we don't need that to, to, to do it anymore because of the, uh, these, these grape varieties. Well, just describe the style of wine you think a beautiful Douro Valley Red is because you can have wines. I just tasted 200 wines. Yes. Some were really concentrated and jammy, but then others were yes. fresh and balanced. We try to make uh, fresh and fresher wines. Of course, when it started, and we started in 1999, we are here making wines. I am uh, also the winemaker at Valado. So, but uh, uh, when I started, we are we are looking a little bit more for concentration. I agree with you because uh, it was something that the wines to show and to present ours to the world. And I think you as a wine writer, you can agree with me, it's, maybe it's easier to start like that. And nowadays, I think more and more, and the good winemakers in the door are looking for freshness, balance. And so it's, for, for, for instance, here in Vamiyan, we can easily make uh, jammy wines. If you leave the grape varieties, the grapes in the, in the vineyard for a long time, it's easier to make very concentrated and powerful. And I think our wines are powerful. We cannot run away for, for what you, we are, you know. We are a little bit like that. Um, but we change a lot of things. For instance, the use of the barrique in the past previous years. We're looking for a barrique that, uh, that doesn't kill the wine, but to, helps to have a more fresh and elegant wine. 
So that's why you use a lot of Turiga, Turiga Nacional and Turiga Franca. Turiga Nacional, it's quite interesting, it's very long on the mouth, but sometimes it's like some, you know, freshness and the attack on the mouth. So we just blend with the uh, Turiga Franca, previously called Turiga Francesa. It's, we have a, this new, na new name. So maybe we have to taste some wines. And Let's go taste some yes, wines. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.